What's going on, guys? Well, I might as well finish up about this motor box on the um, Extreme Flight Extra, just for grins. You guys look back a few videos, I'm saying the same thing, but I tend to hack these in pretty quick. I don't like dust, <laughs> and I don't really care, you know, that it looks perfect or anything. But um, yeah, I mark them the standard way, like everybody's been doing it forever. You know, tape on some poster board, or something, you know, um, in this case some foam, um, and then mark them and then uh, cut those marks out and then transfer those to the cow, cut those out, kind of sneak up on it a little bit, just in case you're off a little left or right, back or forth, but like I say, I'm not worried too much. You could go an eighth inch around, you know, relief, uh, reveal around the muffler stacks. I tend to go closer to a quarter, you know, I just don't want it to hit or crack or, I'm not too worried about it. Nobody ever looks under here, nobody cares. See how it looks, you don't even notice. Um, so then from there, I don't know if I can do this with one hand. This is kind of amazing. That far, ready to get this far, Ooh, got it, and got it, okay. So, um, this has been, my, you know, homogenized setup now for all the planes. So, like we talked about the spot on RC adapter, um, three millimeter all thread, not 440, not titanium push ride. Uh, 440 and 256, 2.5 millimeter, all that stuff is um, too thin. And titanium is too stiff uh, for the engine vibration, too much abuse to the servo. Three millimeter all thread, just right. And then I tend to do this too. Um, I tend to just throw down a little piece of Velcro and then stick my uh, extension coming off of my, or my lead I guess it would be, if not an extension coming off my servo. Uh, just so it doesn't flop over and like accidentally get in this apparatus. It's amazing when you just put a piece of Velcro down, sticky Velcro, and then you wrap some Velcro around an extension and put it down like check it over the next 300 flights they don't move um, so it works good and then on my fuel line this is a Dubro 8th inch Tigon large size um, their 8th inch is called large which is what I use on the 120cc class this GP123 and they use the extra large the 532nd um, on the um, 170cc class Although I'm not sure. With the DLE, I don't think that's necessary at all. Um, anyway, that's what I do. That's the sidetrack. So, then you can see here how long this slot is. Um, instead of having this go through, you know, a round hole, round slot. Um, I've been doing this for a while. I use this long slot. Um, just so you can see my line there, that it doesn't have much angle as it goes through. Instead of having a 90 down and a 90 out, you know, on a hole. I make the, a long slot, use a long grommet. I use a big grommet that I bend long. So that's how I do those on all the planes. That's how I do these on all the planes. That's how I do that on all the plane. And then this to me is a big deal. I always put some type of little clamp here because I always wanted the fuel line uh, to come away from the muffler so it didn't get melted on the muffler. So I always try to put some kind of directional clamp there. But then this last year, I've taken to using this style clamp which is you know insulated and then um, put sticky velcro you know down on the motor box and then on the inside of the clamp and then um, wrap the other side of the sticky on the fuel tube and then put that all together so this can't move back or forth it's stuck right there which means that this can't fall off the nipple the intake nipple for the fuel can't fall off it's being forced on by the fact that this this fuel line is stuck right here. So you never have to worry about your fuel line falling off, you never have to worry about your fuel line hitting a muffler and melting. Um, yeah, and then you, this, this is unnecessary, but it's just nice to know that it's not, you know, too many bends in it. It just takes it a gentle angle. Uh, and the only thing, you know, I did, that, you know, I, on most of the planes I will do differently, we talked about in the last video is the extension. So 
well, you can kind of see that you know they have the composite extension that I bolted the um, ball ink they've got that I'm trying to get it to focus in light pretty hard at least I can get it to light they have that that composite piece is bolted towards the carburetor away from the mufflers off the steel arm that goes to the shaft with a spring on it um, and that makes you have to put the ball ink I can I get focus back in there huh maybe oh yeah yeah there we go that makes you have to put the ball link out of focus, back in focus, on the muffler side. Now I have clearance there, but you know the mufflers are 400 degrees, so it's nice to have that plastic ball link as far as possible away so it doesn't get elongated, start messing with your idle, pop off, some other badness. And um, so further away is better. So normally, as you can see, that composite black. Uh, I got a bolt through it, you know, and it's attached. Look at that spring shaft, and then there's a steel arm, and then they got the composite extension um, from, you know, the manufacturer. And it wouldn't be uh, the manufacturer of the engine. It wouldn't be GP or D or anything. They just get these carbs, you know, however they're set up for chainsaws, and that's how we get them. Uh, you know, I've all harped about this that I, I want them to do better. Um, there's easy ways to do that, but they don't. Um, but anyway, that composite, I'd rather, you know, have my own composite extension or um, plastic arm, you know, from the heavy duty plastic arms from the high tech servos or whatever you want to make or weld or whatever, but put it instead of towards the carburetor, put it towards the muffler on the extension. Then two things happen. The ball link is now on the inside towards the carb, so it's much, much cooler. And you're extended, so you're down here in this bigger pocket down below. Where's my finger? Get my finger in there. And we'll see my finger in there. Ah, there's my finger. So down in this pocket down here, you got more width. You know, so if you get the ball link down there, by default, you're going to have more clearance away from the heat than up here where I have it, because this is a stock scenario. And I got a feeling most of you guys are always doing stock. So you're, you're tight right there. But you know, you, you can do it. And you know, it helps to use a, one of the China pan heads, which I got on there, three millimeter through there to keep, you know, from at least having the bolt. If you use a socket head bolt, you know, that's not a pan head, um, then you're closer, that gets hot, that transfers the heat to the ball link. So, you know, this, this does work and it's enough clearance. Should be, you know, good. I've done it plenty of times before but my preferred method would be to have the ball link on them the inside where's my finger can't even find it right there the ball link on the inside and see that black plastic extension would be on the outside of that metal arm up there and then the ball link would be on the inside over here towards the carb so in a perfect world, and I've done it many times and I have videos and pictures over the last year of me doing it that way on, on the channel right here, um, I would have that done on this plane. Uh, but you know, this I'll live with this for this one. And I got my standard pull choke. See if we can, yeah, there it is right there. You can see that's a Dubro Clevis 440. You can use the 256 too. Um, it's on a 440 rod here. You can use 256 for that. But, you know, other than that ball link being on the flip side of where I would ideally have it and extended where I would ideally have it, this is my normal setup. You know, so pretty dialed, pretty happy with it. I like them all to look just like this. And, yeah, then I'm all down. These these have Nord locks in these holes. Me. Yeah, look at that. You can almost see down there. But these are all Nord locks. Uh, when I replace these bolts uh, for the uh, carbon reed block, I'll put Nord locks there. Um, I get the special Nord locks here that have the small OD so that they'll fit in the holes. So you have to get the special ones. Um, I've got Honda Bond 